Hey, Captain Thaddeus here. So today I want to show you guys how to change out your hubs on your trailer. Very handy thing to know. It's not that difficult and you can do it pretty quickly. So we're going to go through some things and hopefully I can help you guys out if you're in a situation where you're stuck on the road and need to replace your hub quickly or you just want to do a hub change. So we're going to make it easy for you. Now I'm no expert. I don't claim to be an expert, but I've done this many times and the hubs and, and seals always seem to do okay. I change them out every couple years just to be sure. So here are the tools that I have to change out this hub. I have the floor jack, this husky wrench, these uh, locking pliers, a big screwdriver, paper towels, this is a messy job, sledgehammer, piece of 4x4 four four fence post, and a lug nut wrench. Loosen the lug nuts before you lift the, the wheel off the ground with the jack. Clean the old grease off your rims so that if your seals start leaking again on your bearings, you can you'll you'll see it you'll see the grease on the inside of the rim that's that's a indicator you need to do something about your seals immediately or you may have your tire pass you on the highway which is never a good thing so uh, yeah clean those rims so you can see the grease I find these Brillo pads handy for cleaning off the rims I spray a little bit of tire cleaner and scrub away okay now, I want to take the cap off. That's what you need the sledgehammer for. Done. Clean out some of the grease so you can see the cotter pin. There it is. Channel lock pliers. So once the cotter pin is out. Let's take your handy dandy wrench. Don't want to lose this. And there's going to be a washer here. So all you do, pull it right off. Don't lose your washer. And there you go. This one's still in good shape, so I'm going to keep it as a backup. You never know when you might need it. A few years ago, uh, I had an older boat, and the bearings and hubs were just crap. I'd never experienced my bearings going out before, so it was new to me. I learned really quickly to have a spare in your truck. I don't care if your boat is... 20 years old or brand new. I've seen hubs go out on new boats as well. So always have a spare hub in your truck ready to go for situations so you don't get stranded on the road. Uh, you just pick this up at your uh, local trailer parts store or you can order them online. Just make sure you get the right size. So these, the ones that I've got are pre-greased. So it's gonna make it super simple. Make sure you clean your spindle. But it's very simple putting these back on. Make sure your bearings don't slide out. You don't want to get them dirty. Slide it up so that it snugs up real nice. You push that in as far as you can get it. Just work it in carefully. 
Make sure it's nice and snug. If it's loose in the back, your seals are the wrong size. And you want to do, you know, get some new seals, get different seals. I keep a lot of paper towels around. <laughs> this is a messy job, and that's where I wear the gloves as well. So you're going to need your old washer and nut. Always want a washer between your bearings and your nut because that nut's kind of rough and it might cut into your into your bearings and cause problems. So you want a nice heavy duty washer to go on it. Unless you lost the nut, then you're in trouble. A super glue won't work. Anyway, here it is. I wrapped it up. I wrapped it up a little too well. So, make sure it's all clean. Get all the dirty, uh, get any grit off of it. Don't cross thread it. You'll be in trouble. Now, if you've smoked your your spindle, sometimes it won't go on so easy. I've had situations where the hub kind of tore up the threads on the spindle. Uh, you really want to replace your spindle or your axle at that point, but if you're in a situation you're stuck on the road, you got to make it work. You got to get to where you're going. And I mean, I've put hubs on spindles that were kind of screwed up, messed up, and and everything was fine. So um, you know, you want to replace it if you can, but it could be okay. See how it won't turn? Obviously, that's too tight. So, I've snugged it up. And now I'm going to back off. That kind of seats the, um, the bearings on the spindle. When you give it, a little, give it a little bit too much and then back it off. Kind of tight in there, but you don't want to have to like strain to turn it. You just want to snug. I'm going to go back tight again, try to turn it. It's already starting to get loose. Back off again. Yeah, that's about right. So now I just have to put the cotter pin in, which comes in the kit. Find the hole. You got to turn the nut so that it exposes the hole. this all the way up against the spindle because if it's not you can't put the cap on so what you can do what the channel locks are for lock them down and you can pull that through with the channel locks Like so. Take your cotter pin, spin it around, make sure it's tight against the spindle. There we go. Perfect. No movement. All right. So now we're going to put the cap on. I'm just going to, you know, make it stick there. And I'm just going to put it flat on there. The reason why you don't hit the hammer on it is because you'll dent it up and mess it up. So it's always good to have a little sledgehammer with you. Let me just start tapping it. Try to even it out. Got a new hub. You see how fast that was? If you're standing, stranded on the side of the road, that's how quick you can put your new hub on. 
or you could just stand there and watch the cars go by and make phone calls and waste a lot of time. Keep a spare hub in your truck. Make sure you have the right one for your trailer. All you gotta do is call the trailer manufacturer and find out which one you need. You could probably order it uh, straight from your boat dealership. Now that the hub's on, I'm gonna use this grease gun to put some grease in it. You want it to fill up till it almost starts coming out of the cap. So here's an issue I had when I first started doing this. Uh, I had trouble putting the grease into the grease gun. Um, because this little deal here is spring loaded and it and it slides over and locks but when you go to put your new tube of grease in sometimes it would pop and then grease goes flying everywhere your whole new tube of grease is stuck to your forehead <laughs> that's a messy uh, messy deal right there not good for you either especially if you get it in your eyes so what I like to do is I'll, I'll pull this lock it okay and I'll clamp it clamp it on like that now this can't shoot back in there and shoot all the grease out you can take it off that's what the old one looks like channel lock pliers are great for pulling out the old grease tube. Now, you definitely want to put this back on here. And you slide it in. I'll cut this off. It may come out a little. If that comes off, all this whole tube could could blow out of it. So and there we go. Now I can take that off. Pump it a few times. Make sure it's working get some old grease out of it there we go make sure no grease is coming out of the back it's coming it's starting to come out from inside the cap so you know you've got enough grease you don't want it you know flying everywhere on your tire so pop this back in off it's good to go I am going to put a little grease on the threads for the lug nuts that way they don't get rusty and stuck on guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I am open to constructive criticism because I'm sure I'm going to get a lot. Thank you.